What's going on everyone? So let's get started with March now. You can see in front of me that I have a ton of cat washi tape. And let's just be real. I have a ton of washi tape in general. And I was going back and forth on how I was going to do March. Like, what am I going to draw this time? What am I going to, you know, create? And seeing here that I have these stickers just sitting here. I actually have a ton of stickers too that are not getting used. Washi tape that's not getting used. And all of these happy planner booklets that we buy that we're so obsessed with that don't get used for for what like i don't want to use it because what if what if what like <laughs> i decided you know what i need to use my stickers i need to use my washi tape so this month i'm just going to create a spread using only that i'm not gonna draw shit. and if you can probably tell yeah i'm fighting a little something something i have been <clears throat> Fighting sicknesses, what seems like this entire year, everyone around me is, has either had the flu or the cold or some sort of coronavirus. I don't know what people are doing. <laughs> and I have been taking a concoction of over-the-counter immune boosters and all oh, this fucking dog. I swear to God, dog. Oh, shit, that actually worked. Nope, there he goes again. My neighbor just got a dog and oh totally a cat person anyway going back to the fact that i'm trying to do the best that i can with this voiceover <clears throat> so if my voice gets a little weird you know it's because i'm trying to fight off the cold or coronavirus <laughs> whatever all right taking the train back to cat town i was trying to figure out what sort of theme to go for in march you know it's sort of the beginning of spring is it i don't know i'm not even sure but i'm not a flower person you guys know this about me and i again wanted to use all of the stickers and washi tape that i had available because i have so much just sitting here so i looked at my washi tape and i was going through it going okay what do i have a lot of and that's when i realized oh my gosh i have so much cat washi it's ridiculous so that ended up being the theme for march cats so let me tell you <laughs> This was extremely hard for me to do. So I was at a couple of um, hobby stores, you know, like, you know, like Michael's and stuff. And I was looking at all the planner things and all the sticker books that's, you know, out on sale. And I nearly bought a couple of sticker books. I don't need any more stickers, but I almost did. And I was looking at the Happy Planner or was it the Erin Condren? I was looking at some planners that were that were on sale and I was sort of um not getting FOMO per se but I was definitely feeling like I you know maybe it is a little bit of FOMO I was like uh, fearing like I was missing out on the planner life you know because I like the idea of how the happy planners look once they're all stickered up but I can't stand disc bound books I cannot stand the spiral coils I just, they get destroyed, they're in the way, they're clunky, they're bulky. I love my bullet journal because it's so compact and I can put this in my backpack and it won't get caught on anything. So <clears throat> I decided that I was going to create a quote unquote happy planner style look in my bullet journal. So this is going to be like a hybrid product because I wanted to use those stickers, but I also wanted to have the functionality of an actual book and... <sighs> This was very, very intimidating for me. So I went to Japan last year and I bought a bunch of stickers. You can see the ones that have the clear backing and they're tiny little cat faces and they're so cute. And so with these numbered flags, I put the cat face right on top of it. So it has this, oh my gosh, that's so adorable, you guys. I'm, I'm obsessed with the way this page turned out. <clears throat> so, so proud of myself for doing this. What I did was I created boxes that were three squares wide and five squares down so that I still had a little bit of room to sort of give myself a month at a glance. Last year, I did the um, two page month at a glance and it was perfect because the way my schedule was, it fit nicely. Now, March opened up like crazy for me. So I'm going to have more flexibility to be in my journal. So I decided to make the monthly smaller and then I'm going to actually have weeks to work out of. You know, I really thought about how I was going to edit this video. I was going to just, you know, do a whole quick time lapse of it and then just do a voiceover over what I chose to do, blah, 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 as if it was so easy. And, you know, I do kind of want to be an advocate for imperfect journals and, you know, taking off the stress of people who want to get into bullet journaling. So no, this was not easy. Look at me. I'm going through stickers upon stickers trying to find the right way to fit Mon Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday in this book. I only have three squares of space to work with here. So 
I eventually found, thank God, I had a set of stickers that were just letters. <laughs> just, pff, duh, of course, why not, right? I was eventually going to just write the letters in myself if I didn't find anything, but luckily I had these that fit perfectly. But, you know, it's a process. If you have a ton of stickers already, this is great. But if you don't, you know, you don't obviously have to go this route. You could just write it in. But it took me so long to even find this solution. And it took me just as long to find the monthly sticker like I had stickers that said October you know January February but they were a little too small and I went what am I gonna do oh my god there's already washi tape and then I went duh letters so I ended up choosing letters that let me spell out March on their own these stickers are so old too I used to scrapbook when I was in college when I was like 20 21 so <laughs> this is like 15 years old these stickers I don't know math right now off the top of my head. I'm sick. Leave me alone. I'm 35. Yeah. Anyway, can't you do the math. Put it in the description box below. Tell me I'm stupid. Whatever. So, <laughs> yeah, I've had these. So I'm, I'm a little bit of a pack rat, you know. But, yeah, I'm going to move on because this is kind of important. So <laughs> when it comes to <clears throat> centering sticker letters, right, like I know a lot of us have problems when it comes to trying to make things as centered as possible. I What I do is I lay down the, the beginning and the last letter first, but very lightly. I don't really like paste it down onto the page. I will try to get the middle letter centered as much as possible, and then I will sort of um, commit from the inside out. So like, you'll see what I'm, in a second. I place the R, and I center the R as much as I can, because, you know, that's my center point right there. <clears throat> so I commit to the R placement first, and then from then on, I will place the C and the A according to how much spacing I want. And then the H and the M will be the final commitment choice. And then that becomes a fairly centered um, header. So if you're not sure how to go about that, boom, start from the middle, work your way out instead of starting with the M and then going all the way through the letters because it ends up looking kind of crazy if you run out of room. I realize that this video is going to be a little bit longer than it could have been if I had just told you what I ended up choosing. But, you know, again, I wanted to just show you guys that this is not a flawless process. Um, I didn't know what to do for my I, I knew I wanted a monthly checklist, but I left that page blank because I didn't know how to lay it out. So instead, what I did was I drew the columns for every single day, kind of happy planner style. But here is the thing. I wish I would have known this before I inked it up. <laughs> Google how wide a happy planner slash Erin Condren uh, column is before you put it into your notebook. So for example, I just followed my guideline on how to divide the page into thirds because I have a little cheat sheet, but that is a lot wider than what the happy planner slash Erin Condren sizes are. So when I picked those stickers, it didn't fit up completely. And now that's a minuscule problem but it was still a problem in my world. So if I do this again, I'm gonna make sure it's 1.5 inches. So I Googled what a happy planner looks like and I too also did the date and the days at the very top of each column. So what I did was I printed out these Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday fonts and decided to stick with one specific font throughout this entire month. And I really loved how this turned out. If you're using tiny stickers, I highly recommend grabbing yourself a pair of tweezers to take them off the sheets and put them on your papers because, oh my God, it's a complete lifesaver. Especially when you're wearing dumbass nails like I am. <laughs> I got these from CVS. I put them on because my nails are very brittle. They break very easily, so I have to have protection. But Lord, these had a stiletto point to them. Oh my God, this was a nightmare. <laughs> So after I completed the columns, I went back to do the to-do list. And after sitting there trying to, you know, think about like, wh what do I do here? Like, I just decided to match up the month at a glance because you know what? The month at a glance, I, I really love how that turned out. It looks sort of industrial. It looks sort of, it's like fun and industrial in a weird way. I think, I think it's because of the colors and the way that the, um, the main cats are kind of stamped onto that washi tape. Um, so I tried to recreate that on the to-do list when it comes to doing the actual spreads oh my god you guys you'll see it in a little bit I I don't know what the hell I'm doing <laughs> when it comes to washi tape and sticker boxes you know I don't I don't work out of a happy planner 
I don't use Erin Condren's. So this to me is 150% brand new. I have an easier time when I draw out my bullet journal versus using stickers. And I noticed that today, you know, like it's like a thing like where I'm like, oh my God, I don't, you'll see it in a little bit. I honestly, I don't like the way I started to decorate the daily spreads, but you know what? It's going to be a learning curve. And like I said before, when I did February, I'm going to look back at this journal and go, ah, she really tried it. And that's why I, I want to advocate, you know, the imperfect journals because it's always a learning curve and it's always a learning process. Okay. You guys, I've never felt so lost when it comes to decorating a journal. Like this is not my world, you know? Um, so I had to Google what a finished planner looks like so I can kind of gauge as to how to decorate mine. But what I can't grasp my head around is the to-do boxes. Um, maybe it's because I wasn't fully prepped for March quite yet. So I don't know what I'm doing on specific days, but that's, I just, I don't know, like how do you put down a to-do box, sticker box that only has like four to-do lists? Like what if you have more? What if you have less? What if you don't have any and you've already put that box down? Do you just end up with an empty space in your planner? It's just, it kind of, I don't get it yet, but I'm pretty sure by the end of the month I will. Like I think what I'm gonna do instead of trying to decorate the week in advance, I, oh my God, train your dogs. Anyway, back to this. So I've been watching a bunch of videos on how to decorate a happy planner and whatnot. And it's like, it doesn't sink in, you know, properly. And it's funny because since there were a few of them that were on sale, I kind of feel like I should have bought one so that I can practice in those. That way, when I go to do it in my bullet journal, I, I really am really happy with it, you know? But I'm trying not to be, excuse me, I'm not, I'm trying not to be, a psycho when it comes to how this looks. But anyway, I was really stressing about the fact that I don't have decorative stickers, you know, like the Happy Planner does. They have full boxes, they have big flower prints and things like that. I don't have those. All of my stickers are very small and I bought them like that because I wanted them to fit within my bullet journal styles. Well, now that I'm doing Happy Planner, I need big stuff. So I whipped out this, this container. This is one of many containers, by the way, of different types of papers that I have from my scrapbooking years. I mean, I've got six by six, eight by 12s, 12 by 12s. I have so much decorative paper, it's ridiculous. So what I decided to do was cut it down to the size of my columns and then I just taped them in. You can make them into a sticker yourself if you have a Xyron machine, which I do, or you can use glue, but I just use the strip tape that comes in the automatic roller. I predict doing this a lot throughout the month, but I know for sure next time when I want to do these columns, 1.5 inches is the exact width that I, I need to do. So here are some photos of what the book looks like right now as I get into March. And you know, whatever. I left a, these next pages blank because I don't want to fill in when I don't know what I'm doing. So those are the color schemes that I'm going to go with for each specific week. And that empty space, I don't know what I'm going to do there yet. And that my friends is March. And I'm really interested to learn something new. It's time, you know, like I don't want it to be the same thing over and over again. So I'm excited to get into this book and try something brand new and see if I get into it. If I don't, oh, well, I tried. Um, something that you see that's missing, my productivity tracker. I noticed that when I was doing this for the month of February, I was doing it because I had to. I was no longer tracking my productivity levels because of whatever reason. So I don't know if it's because I feel I don't need to track myself anymore or if it's just a lazy thing. I don't know. But if I'm not using it for this month, there's no sense in putting it in and then forcing myself to do something. It begins to feel like a chore. So I don't want to do that. But that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you all very soon. Share me with your friends, like, subscribe, and I will see you all very soon. Bye everybody.